Do your children have, do they know you're out here? Um, I'm not sure. You're not sure? They knew, they're grown now? My daughter, well, they're still teenagers. They're still grown up, but yeah, they're, they're still young. I don't want them to, to have to come out here and look like this. I don't want Somebody's got to gotta rescue you out of here. Not them, not mom, okay. huh? I'm supposed to rescue them. I'm Jesse, behind the camera is James, and we are Roman in Riverside. And today we're in the downtown area of Riverside, California. We're right on the corner of Brockton and University, right by the aluminum can recycling place. And today, I got the pleasure of talking to Rosanna. Rosanna, uh, tell our viewers a little bit about yourself, like your age and where you're from. Hi, my name's Rosanna. I'm about 38, and I'm here in Riverside. Um, okay. I've been out here for same near all my life and just kind of struggling to get my stuff together but i'll be getting there yeah you will yeah. okay yeah we're here to encourage you that uh yeah these streets are no place for you especially yeah. a woman yeah so anyway how did we end up here Rosanna? um long story short just the family you know me, me and a, a family member don't really get along so i chose to step away from the home um, my parents were sick and i had it was either you know stay and make it worse on them or just go ahead and take a step out so i stepped away how long have you been out here um honestly for about Maybe long, about five years. Five years, man. Yeah. Is it I mean, dangerous out here for a woman? I mean, yeah, it can be, but I mean, yeah. you just gotta find a good, you know, find someone and just stick with them, kind of a thing. It's better when you have somebody with you. Yeah. Because on your own, it kind of sucks. Yeah. yeah. I mean, in five years, you've probably seen some dangerous stuff out here, huh? Yeah, I've seen quite a bit. Yeah. 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 But I mean, I just keep pushing. Okay. Yeah. How old are you again? 38. 38. So you've worked before in your life? Yeah, I have. Yeah. Well, what was, have you done? Tell our viewers. I was a nurse. I was um, a medical really? assistant, actually, yeah. I ran two offices for a doctor. Oh, man. Yeah. Your family knows you're out here? Yeah. And, and yeah. they're okay with that? Well, I mean, they. my parents are both sick. Both of them had strokes. Mm. One, my mother's back in diapers. She doesn't move. She's bedridden, and my father's paralyzed from the left side. So um, I kind of, I don't want to cause more stress. So I just stepped away. Me and my other sister don't get along. Mm. So she, every time I go to the home, she makes it hard. And I can't argue, and I, I'm not going to kill my parents. So I walked away. Oh, man. Yeah. Wow, you're too good for this. Yeah. Do you lose hope out here? Every day, yeah. Do you? Well, keep your head up, man. There's a, there's a lot of people that, we have success stories, a lot of people that have been pushing grocery carts. I don't see mental illness in you. Yeah. These people had had mental illness and they recovered. Tell us, what do you do during the day? Well, I recycle right now. I'm so sorry, I'm, I'm trying to earn my money, so I'm recycling and then I just go and try to, you know, just keep my day busy, whatever, helping people, you know, finding friends that need help or whatever. You know. Do you get any EBT or anything? I don't. You don't? You no. Have you checked into that? I have, but um, I guess they have, they said have some Mr. Mini warrants from some from years left back that's kind of stopping me from getting that, so. So yeah. what, is this lunch right here? Well, I just got this from some guy right here, yeah, it's all my breakfast. <laughs> yeah. Well, we got to do something about this, Rosanna. Mm -hmm. Your name's Rosanna? Yes. Our viewers out there, we're right on the corner of Brockton and University. If anybody finds it in your heart, Rosanna does not belong out on these streets over here. Now, tell us this, Rosanna. Are you, you're willing to work, right? Yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah. Any of our viewers out there, because we've got business owners that watch our channel. Yeah. Any of you guys, if you're in the Riverside area, you got a prime candidate to get off the streets. She is our candidate of the day to get off the streets, guys. We'd really appreciate it if you came by and gave her some words of encouragement, gave her maybe a job or a little bit of employment would be great, guys. But uh, tell us this, uh, Rosanna, do you have any plans of getting off the streets? Yeah, I do. I want to, I mean, I want to go back to work. I, oh, I would you? love to go back to work. Yeah, I need to keep me, keep me, keep me get my head right, keep me busy. Yeah. Yeah, go back to being, you know, productive. Yeah, it was so hot yesterday. It was really hot. In the really, days. Yeah. yeah, how are you keeping cool? Honestly, I walk around, I find water faucets and just keep myself wet. I try to keep myself wet and keep, I walk wet and be cool like that, uh, yeah. Stay finding a good tree to sit, um, sit underneath, well, yeah. It must be really hard for a woman out here to keep your... You Everything know, up, yeah. Uh, it's very hard, yeah. But yeah. you're keeping yourself up, though. Yeah, you know? trying, yeah. Oh, man. So we got to get you off the streets. What do you got going today? Today, well, I was going to recycle and head down towards the Salvation Army. I know they were doing showers and things there, so I was going to head that way. Oh, is that how you keep your hygiene? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tell me, what's a good day out here for you? Um, a good day is um, having some cans cash now. I'm going to be waking up with $5 in my pocket so I can have a coffee in the morning. Mm. That's my good day. That's what I look forward to right now. That's very humble. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. We got to get you out of here. Um, how about when hurricane, uh, the hurricane hit, man? Would 
I was out here. I stayed in it. Yeah. Yeah. Where's all your stuff at? Um, I own what, what you see. You don't I have... go day to day. Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is a tough one because this is no place for a woman out here because mm -hmm. we roam the streets and we come out and we interview a lot of people. I mean, these guys have weapons and yeah. uh, and a lot of these guys don't have good intentions. Yeah, they're know. not. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, tell us this. When you were younger, mm -hmm. what were your dreams and aspirations? I wanted to help people and I went, I wanted to get a job. Like I went into nursing, so I wanted to help people. I, I believe in people and the body and it, it's very miraculous the things it can do. So I wanted, I, I achieved that dream. Okay. But now I, I, I want to go to, for little kids, I want to go to preschool, to be a preschool teacher, or teacher's aid or something like that now. Well, you can still do that. Yeah. Is it, is it hard out here? It's really hard, yeah. It's hard keeping yourself straight and keeping yourself with a good heart. It can make you cold. Yes, you yes. You really cold out here. And I see a lot of mental illness out here. I don't yeah. see that in you. Yeah, no. I'm yeah. trying to keep my head straight. Thank yeah. God. We want, we want yeah. you to stay away from that. Yeah. So tell us this, though. What, when you were a little girl, what did you dream of? Um, honestly, I don't know. I don't remember. I can't tell really? you. Really? Yeah. How was your childhood? Um, it was okay, I guess. You know, like, mm -hmm. I, I, I was kind of, I mean, I'm a, I'm a, I was a loser, right? You got yeah. married? Have you been married? I have, but um, yeah, I was married. I have two children. They're not with me, of course. Um, yeah. Long story. It kind of hurts to go. Yeah, um, I can yeah. tell that. But your children have? Do they know you're out here? Um, I'm not sure. You're not sure. If they need, they're grown now. My daughter. Well, they're still teenagers. They're still grown up. But yeah, they're they're still young. I don't want them to to have to come out here looking like this. Somebody's got to gotta rescue you out of here. Not them, not mama. Okay. I'm supposed to rescue them. Okay. You don't have any family that can help you, Rosanna? Not willing to. We need a prayer. At the end of my interviews, I always say, can I say a prayer? Yeah. Dear Father in heaven, dear Lord, I got Rosanna here, Father. Father, she doesn't belong out here, Lord. We need some supernatural help, Father. You created us, Father. So we come to you, Father. You can make anything happen in an instant, Father. You can change the, the winds, Father. You can change the, the way the ocean roars, Father. So we're saying, Father, please, Father, we're asking, Father, please change Rosanna's life, Father. Lead her into some people that, Father, some godly people that will help this woman get off the streets, Lord. Lead her into a good church, Father, that can help her and welcome her in, Father, and change her mindset, Father, and let her know that she is worthy, Father. There's nobody out here that's better than Rosanna, Father. Let her know this, Father, and keep her hope alive, Lord. She's crying, Father, and, and she shouldn't be, none of your children should be out here crying in the streets, Lord. So we're asking for your help, Father. Get Rosanna off the streets. That's my plea to you today, Father. I want to intercede for her, Father, and I'm coming to you, Father. And I'm asking humbly, Father, help this woman, Father. Help her. I pray all this in your son Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. All right. I'm Jesse. Behind the camera is James. We're here with Rosanna. We're downtown Riverside. We're roaming in Riverside, and we are out.